Welcome back, everybody, to Ultimate CNFT. Mike, aka Mr. Ultimate here, and today we're talking about Book Token. We're going to start with the Gutenberg Bible Collection. Now, this project has actually just been brought to my attention within the last couple days, really. Uh, I saw them enter into the top 12 and 24 hour volume sales. I started poking around, and here we are. I'm overwhelmingly amazed and blown away by this project. Stick with me through this entire video, guys. I'm gonna give you as much information in a short amount of time as I can. There's gonna be required to have some future updates as with this uh, project as it develops as well, but I have deep dove at this point, and I like to give a shout out to Arrow Crater, uh, a member of this Discord. He's a, he's a, He's a wealth of information. Him and I have spoken earlier today and he's given me a lot of the rundown to help the process with me being able to get this video out now because there's actually some pertinent information to the Gutenberg Bible Collection in specific uh, that is important to know while you still have the opportunity. So let's jump into it, you guys. Look, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Hit the button, hit the thumbs up, leave some comments below, you guys. There's a lot to uncover with this project. Let's check it out. So I saw this project jump up. You'll see right now that the uh, floor is actually 2580. Uh, nice, pretty robust floor right there. Uh, they all of a sudden had a burst of just people having their eyes on this project, which then propelled people to start buying because they found out the information they needed to know, and it jumped them up into the top 12 and 24 hour volume. So I poked around, uh, full disclosure, I actually did buy one of these Bibles um, about three or four days ago. Uh, I paid a pretty decent price at the time. I took a risk. Uh, the DGen that I am just saw something, it was like, you know, this has got some momentum. I don't even know why yet, but it's got momentum. So I picked one up. I got a 23 trait Bible. I paid 1500 ADA for it. And um, it's just been rocketing uh, since there. So let's take a look at the actual collection. I'll show you the ins and outs. Now, from what I understand, um, you start looking at this, you're thinking, what the heck is this? Why is this almost like, you know, you got some of these here and some of these markings here. You got a full Bible there. A little bit more about the history of that later as well, the Gutenberg Bible, if you don't already know that history yourself. But if you look around, it says 10K items. Now, only I think 1,304 of these were actually minted. We're going to go into the details of what the, um, the next stage to come is with that really juicy stuff, you guys. In fact, I think it's the predominant reason why people found out about this and go, I've got to get myself one of these. Um, so not all 10K items are out, but the floor has done nothing but jump. And there's several different traits. There's a 32 trait. There, there's rarities on these books, by the way. These are full ebooks. Now, again, more on that a little bit later. But right now, out of the 13, uh, 1,304 that are minted, I believe there's only about 32 or 33 on the open market. And you can see that the prices jump very, very much. Now, these are based on rarity as well. But let's go take a look at some of the action here. The activity on this. Look at that chart. Just look at that, just coming out not that long ago and it has absolutely skyrocketed since then, cooled off a little bit, but you never know with a project like this where this is gonna go. Now, of course, nothing I cover on this channel here at Ultimate CNFT is direct financial advice. Simply my take and what I'm looking around at and what I've actually done. So again, I bought myself a Bible. Uh, pretty good investment at this point. You'll see that again, the floor is at 2580 and it jumps pretty quickly but let's go take a look at the sales here 2800 2500 2200 22000 um, the floor got as high as 3k this was just yesterday as of the making of this video and uh, it's taken a little bit of a dip but uh Wow. I mean, if you look at this, this is no joke. Not someone just buying every you know other day or once a week or something. I mean, the action on this is absolutely incredible. There's also some other um, projects within this projects that I'd like to show you a little bit through this video as well. But focusing on this one right now, take a look at what's going on. Some of these sales are pretty big. 6,500, uh, 7,250. We got something going on here. So what exactly is that? Let's go have a little bit more of a look around here. We're gonna jump on the website here in just a moment. But um, for right now, again, the Gutenberg Bible Collection, um, the history behind it is really, really amazing. And you know, let's just go take a peek real quick at uh, some of the other collections uh, that, are, that I just mentioned here before we move on. And let's take a look. Yeah, we've got this one right here. Uh, number four, and there's the Gutenberg of the, the classics, the monster series. Let's go take a little peek here. Oh my gosh, the floor is absolutely cracking. I looked a few minutes ago and the floor was at 99 ADA. Uh, literally, this is before I'm starting to shoot this video. So we got 3,605 3, items total, 401 owners. Floor is just pumping ridiculously. Let's take a look at the activity here. 
and you'll see i mean it's pff, look at those sales two three days ago i was buying the floor at 43 um and i just simply got one of each collection just because i wanted to have one of each collection as i really got enthralled with what's going on here i started buying more and more uh and i wish i would have really bought a whole bunch more because look at this i mean we're not even into an hour there we finally into an hour ago and these sales are oh, blown away by what's happening here and uh, uh, the crazy thing is is a, it's a one page one full page only one hour's worth of transactions most people and not, i would say most people but a lot of people don't really even know what's going on they just see this project entering the top 12 and they're starting to look around they're going what the heck is this well i'm here to unpack it all for you guys so let's go jump into the uh what will we'll actually yeah you know what let's just hit the discord real quick and uh find out what's going on over there all right, so let's jump into this Discord here real quick. There's not too much to tool around on over here. Very simple. I love it. I can't get into some of these because you have to be a Bible holder to get into some of these uh, chats here. But for right now, I want to cover what is known as the dropping. Now, for more information on what I'm about to go over, I suggest you go and watch this YouTube video from the CEO, Joshua. It explains in detail exactly what went on with this particular project as it minted, what's left over, and how this is going to work out. Uh, there's more details that I'm going to provide. This link will actually be below in the description, so you can jump right on there and watch. It's like a five-minute video. Definitely worth it, especially if you're considering investing into this project and you haven't already, but also good information to know. So basically, the dropping, what is this? Uh, it's a snapshot. There's going to be three different snapshots. So the first one is on September 1st. You have to have your Bible off JPEG store, off chain, sitting in your wallet. You're going to get that one-to-one -one drop. And that's going to take place on September 2nd. you got a couple days left as of the filming of this video here. Today is August 28th. So essentially, you're going to turn one Bible into two Bibles. Awesome. Now, the second snapshot is going to be on October 1st with the drop being on the following day on the 2nd. So you're also going to get a one-to-one -one airdrop for every Bible that you hold. So your two Bibles now turn into four Bibles. Awesome. Uh, third snapshot is going to be on November 1st with the drop the following day. And uh, it says here that you're going to uh, get a one-for-one. -one. But again, referencing the video that I just showed you, it's actually working out more like the mathematics is that 90% of the people that are holding through the third snapshot are going to end up with three more Bibles. Um, and again, um, you're essentially having the opportunity to turn one purchase, the Bible that you hold, into a total, if I'm correct, of seven of these NFT items. Uh, again, please refer to that video for full transparency and clarency. Uh, is clarency a word? It is today on Ultimate CNFT. I make words up all the time, and it's a lot It's a lot of fun. So the most rare NFTs are actually included in this lottery dropping as well. There's all four of them, the first one uh, and the second one and the last two. There's a lot of history behind this, you guys. Now, you're probably thinking um, with a supply total of 1,304 and the airdrops that are coming, of course, this project is absolutely pumping. But the historical matter behind this, which we're going to go over on the website here right now, to me says that potentially that could happen. But this is a piece of history, in my personal opinion. Uh, this is not the kind of project that you'd buy in and you hope to just basically, you know, look at the floor every day and worry about what's going on. There's way more to it than that. Uh, the Bible that I'm holding is absolutely going to be sticking with me. I'm going to be real happy about getting more. I hope I win that lottery. I'd like to get my total up to seven. Uh, you know me on this channel, I like to give stuff away. So it's one of those Bibles, regardless of whether I hit that third tier, we'll be going into the ultimate CNF wallet uh, to be given away to paid subscribers and maybe I'll give another one away just to somebody for special uh, for engaging in my YouTube channel but the giveaways are great and they're promoting that Joshua was like hey we're trying to get people in onboarded into NFTs now what they're doing with their IRL business ties directly into that you guys uh, you know on this channel I always support people who are bringing more people to the Cardano ecosystem, which is what they're doing through their uh, Book.io token, but also through NFTs. A lot of people, this will be their first foray into NFTs, and I really, really love what they're doing. It's very exciting. A little bit of information here real quick. Uh, there's another drop coming up, and that's coming up here on Wednesday. Now, this is going to be the World uh, War of the Worlds, a classic novel. If you look at this artwork, uh, there's a lot of detail going into this artwork, and we're going to show you all about that, including the artist as well. But for right now, uh, if you hold one of the Gutenberg Bibles, which is essentially kind of like a Genesis token for all these other projects that are minting through uh, Book.io, 
um, you get special perks. So there's only going to be 1,099 of these unique books and 131 unique covers. Uh, wow. Talk about a collector series. People who love to read books and collect books. Uh, this is huge, especially when you put it into an NFT form, which is what I love about NFTs. The uh, implications for NFTs are endless. We all know that. We love that. Uh, so the price is going to be a 49 ADA mint for the public, 40 ADA for those who actually are members of the OG book club, like I said, by holding one of your Gutenberg Bibles. Uh, it starts off and there's the times and there's everything you need to know, public sale information, limit mint per one, uh, one per wallet, and there's going to be all kinds of different artworks on the cover. Really good stuff to look into. Let's go ahead and jump into that website now because that's where the wealth of information is. So let's go check it out. Okay, booktoken.io, a link to the website will be in the description below the video. We'll go over the first cover part a little bit because most of this is about the actual token itself and the platform and all the things that they're doing IRL. We're gonna focus on the actual NFTs, but let's get through this here real quick. It's important. The book NFT platform and exchange. Readers should own the digital goods, the eBooks and the audio books they buy. Book Token, harnessing the power of Cardano blockchain mm, as our backbone, will create an NFT marketplace and platform that will forever change digital reading. I think my wife just broke something. Uh, for the first time, readers will be able to buy eBooks and audiobooks, earn book tokens for consuming these works and sell their NFTs in secondary market. Publishers and authors equipped with smart contracts will earn high, or I'm sorry, industry high royalties for the first time sales and royalties on secondary sales in perpetuity. Uh, this entire decentralized network will be validated and secured by Book Token, the next page in the history of books. Talks about the readers, talks about the authors and the publishers, talks about how it's being decentralized more than a token. We will go over this at another date. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would love to have the founders here on Ultimate CMT for an interview. So founders, if you're watching this, DM me. Uh, I've already DM'd one of you, Joshua. Hit me back, bro. I'd love to get you on here and in your own words, describe to me more about your project and how exactly this works. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the NFT bookstore. I cannot wait to share this with you guys. There's a lot of stuff to go over with here, but we're going to go scroll down. Everything that I'm bypassing, I'll come back to. We're going to start, of course, with the Gutenberg and find out exactly what is going on here. Uh, it's the f uh, fully encrypted ebook, fully decentralized assets, Actual real-world utility, unburnable books, presents a brand new NFT asset class, DEAs. We're going to get into what a DEA is in a second. It's not the DEA that comes busting down your door because you're doing things you shouldn't be doing. We're talking about a whole new asset class. We'll get to that in a minute. So as we scroll down, we will see that you got Joshua here, the CEO. Always good to hear from him and to find out more from his words about his project. The details, um, very important here. So Here's a question, why do we need NFT books? Until now, the future value of our digital books was zero. We don't own those books. We bought licenses to view those books. We're talking about eBooks here. Uh, NFT books are a true digital asset that you own. That's the point of having NFTs. They can be resold and transferred to whoever you want. Truly unique, they can grant community access to online groups and have scarce quantities. Uh, this is real world utility. Absolutely, I completely agree with that. Creating value and incentives beyond our centralized predecessors. So what do you get? When you purchase this NFT, it isn't just a picture of a book cover, it contains, here's an example, everything basically. Uh, the world's first example of a decentralized encrypted asset. Now there's your DEA right there, a fully decentralized NFT based ebook. Unique cover art, one out of 10,000. Each EPUB is unique and contains um, cover images as well as the original art from Gutenberg. We'll get to the Gutenberg history in a second. Over 70 high resolution images from an original Gutenberg Bible that are all decentralized and embedded video and uh, with audio that is fully decentralized as well. Over 650,000 words in Latin, which is what the original Gutenberg text was written in. All of it's decentralized. Access to a private book club for Gutenberg NFT holders. Early access to future book releases. We will be going over those in a second. We already went over the price break, which is really cool. Includes standard NFT sized image of book cover and a 4K high resolution printable image. Readable on booktoken.io using our open um, anonymous e-reader D app. We'll get into that at a later date. Preview the collection on JPEG store. Boom, boom, boom. CNFTIO. 
JPEG store. Uh, how does this lottery work? We've already kind of sort of went over that a little bit. So why the Gutenberg Bible? Um, these guys are coming out and openly stating it's not a political or religious statement. It's basically about the history. Um, because this is the first ebook really the way it is decentralized as a DEA on any blockchain from my understanding, not just Cardano. This is a first of its kind, which I keep saying history here. They chose this because the Gutenberg was the first main basically uh, Western printed book. And the way they did it, uh, everybody, when you learn about this in, in your history class in high school, which we all pretty much have forgotten by now, but I remembered that. And as soon as I saw Gutenberg, I'm like, that has something to do with the original. Let's read a little bit about it. Um, this is a historical shout out to the first book ever printed uh, using mass production methods, and it's in Latin during uh, 1455 and 1456. Johannes Gutenberg uh, basically was the one who came out with the printing press. And so what they did is uh, it was believed that Gutenberg might have actually started experimenting printing the Bible as early as uh, 1452. He invented a special kind of printing ink, a method of casting type and special kind of press. And basically the rest was history because the printing press was invented. And it was actually there was only 180 total copies and there's only 49 remaining in the world most of those are actually less than half complete so when you look around the idea of them taking a historical thing now bring it to the modern world which now we're still on the cusp of all these historical things with blockchain all the things that cardano is doing i love what these guys are putting together here it's it's absolutely genius and like i said as soon as i started finding out more about this project i'm like I've been doing nothing but like researching and, and talking to people within the community and getting ready to to bring this information out because it's freaking fantastic. Total iceberg project. A little bit up here to look at. You see something peak on the 24-hour volume and then if you look deeper, you find out there's a lot more going on. So we chose to honor this amazing technological achievement by minting the world's first NFT book. There it is. Boom. Their words, not mine. Using the same exact St. Jerome's Latin Vulgate translation that Gutenberg used in Latin. Included over 70 image from the original printed edition, which is a truly a work of art. That is a historical fact. Obviously, we can decentralize an asset as large as this. We can do any book or media. This is really just the beginning of what can actually go on here. The artwork, all 10,000 NFTs feature unique cover artwork that is generated based on one of the original 180 copies of the Gutenberg Bible from 1455. They wanted to pay homage here to the original design, which in the first release uh, added the complexity of computer generated and numbered variations to put our own artistic spin on the future of book minting. This was the mint price. The original mint price was only 100 ADA. To those of you who minted, congratulations. You're doing really well. Uh, it talks more about how an NFT book works, their generation. There's a lot of information here to go over, but we're going to get back up here to the original bookstore and we're going to go over some of the other classic renditions and how these came to be and why these are so epic. What else can I say? Okay, jumping into the NFT bookstore, we're going to go over the releases that have already happened and the ones that are coming up. So the three that we've already got to date, we've got Dracula, we've got Moby Dick, and we've got Frankenstein. All of these are sold out. I know you think you can buy now, but I already tried. Trust me, you can't do it. It's probably why the uh, secondary sales are absolutely popping off here. We're going to update that too, just to see what's happening in the last half hour as I've been playing around with this video. Um, the next one coming up is on 831. That's Wednesday, and we already know that that is War of the Worlds. War of the World. Uh, I will be minting this project. I'm very excited about all the future mints coming up and I'm going to own multiple of each uh, as my ADA allotment will allow me to do. But uh, let's go ahead and use Moby Dick as an example so you can see what you can do on the website as far as you know getting more information about the projects that are already out and the ones that are upcoming. So we got Book Rarity and it says you'll, you'll see basically a whole bunch of different covers with a whole bunch of different art but you can there's actually more than what you're looking at. We'll take the whale as a sample size you can click through and see that um, five of this one in particular are highlighted right here. Uh, this particular, I guess, title, The Whale, has 21 unique designs, five of them shown right there. Each one times five numbered books, um, and that's 105 total NFTs, and that's 11.5% of the supply. It goes down as far as some really, really rare stuff, you guys. The Attack, two unique designs, one each only, equals two books and that's 0.2 percent of the supply so imagine you know minting one of those imagine coming up with one of those and just being stoked on that whether you're holding it whether you're selling it whatever whether you're just a collector whether you love books whether they're classics or just you're all about the nft portion of it the options here are all over the board 
again, I will be minting the crap out of War of the Worlds if I can. I don't know if I can only do one per transaction at a time, but I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hit it hard. And actually, there's a whole bunch of other ones coming up. Uh, let's go back and check out that they are actually minting one per week all the way through the middle of October. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six more projects to go, plus War of the World is coming out on Wednesday. And I am excited for every single one of them. I can't wait to find out which books are actually happening. I've read several of these books, and I'm sure I've read some of the ones that we don't even know what they're going to be. And I've also, yes, I've read the Bible, continue to do that. That's... Uh, that's cool. That start kind of just caught my eye from right off the beginning. Uh, Cardano for the masses. We'll go over that there in a second. But uh, wow. I mean, you tell me between the art and between the utility of having these books, having the ability to sell them and trade them and all the things that offers with an empty, you can actually join them and you can actually read. If we go find down here, there's some instructions about that. It tells you about the actual books themselves in detail, which is great. How to read your NFT. Once you receive your NFT book, you can read it using the book token anonymous open e-reader here. Click that and it takes you right over there if you actually want to read or the audio versions of this as well. You truly own your ebook, so you can read it, send it to a friend, sell it on an exchange. Boom. NFTs going to the next level. I absolutely love everything I'm seeing here. Sold. Real quick before I show you one last thing on this project, which is a one-off from what I understand. Uh, this is a fully docs team, fully docs leadership. That's always great. I always support that here on Ultimate CNFT. Now we've got the book token Cardano for the masses. This is a book written about Cardano for the masses. I'm assuming I haven't read this yet, but so I went and I had uh, and I jumped into this and I ended up buying three off the secondary for about 22, 23 ADA, which is where they're still at right now. Picked up three of those. And then I realized you can actually still mint this right now. You guys through the end of this month, there's a couple more days. You can go ahead and mint this. The print run on this is unlimited, I believe. Uh, but again, there's only, I think about 1300 that have been minted so far. And you can continue to do that for only 12 ADA. So I went and scooped three more. Uh, I'm going to be giving three away to my paid subscribers. So that's going to be fun. Some of you, uh, who are members of that, you're, you're gonna end up with some of these in your pocket. I'm probably gonna go mint more to give them away to my family. For 12 ADA pop, you can't miss that. I imagine this would do probably really well after this is done uh, minting and people start catching on. If you're a Cardano Maxi like I am myself, this is probably a great read and I think a lot of people are gonna really be stoked on this. So this is like kind of a gem in the rough right here, you guys. There's a little bit of the, it's not necessarily alpha because the information's already out there, but here's some ultimate CNFT alpha for those of you who watch my videos. Go mint a few of these and uh, hang on to them. That's just uh, not financial advice, but uh, probably just still a good idea. So uh, let's go back over here. And um, we got the Gutenberg sitting at 2,500. I've actually went already and I just, I jumped ahead of myself and I, I refreshed uh, the the classic monster collection. Uh, the floor has jumped from 150 to 170. It was 180 just a few seconds ago, but uh, you can see that there's a lot going on here. And this is just within a half an hour since I've been uh, moving uh, parts in and out of this video. And uh, I have no idea where this is going. So again, not financial advice, but I'm probably gonna go pick up a few more of these before uh, they, who knows what they end up at. But having a lot of fun here, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please leave some comments below. Let's get this out to as many people as we can. This is the kind of project that I think just needs more discovery in this space. Obviously, people are already discovering it right now, right here in real time. I just wanna do my part because these people are doing their part for Cardano, bringing some amazing things to the space. Oh yeah, the cream always arises to the, to the top and I always will represent those who represent the space. So again, thank you for joining me, you guys. I love you, I appreciate you, Mr. Ultimate. Gotta go. I'll see you in the next video.